All right, what's up, you dupe? Yo, boy, Crypto Tone, coming at you with another video. So, woke up this morning and I saw that Brave now has crypto wallets directly on the browser, which I had no idea. I didn't even see an alert or an update or anything like this. It says they got local, new local crypto wallets here. So, this is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to create this. And we're also going to look into how you can make some money with Brave. Okay, if you have a YouTube channel, you have a Twitter or something like that. I'm going to show you guys the growth of Brave. We're going to talk a little bit about the price and we're going to get into ad revenue. So before we do all that, let's take a look at this crypto wallets thing. So again, like I said, I woke up this morning and saw this and was definitely caught by surprise because as you guys may know, the Opera browser has Ethereum, Tron, and Bitcoin, I believe, integrated into it. So I guess this is Brave's response. But what coins do they have? That's what I want to know. I'm thinking maybe they just have Ethereum coins. So let's go ahead and walk through how to do this. So we're going to go to Brave slash wallet here. I'm going to click create. I'm going to throw in a password. I'm going to go ahead and click create. Make sure you save your passwords, guys. All right, then a secret backup phrase. So, you know, that 12 word backup phrase you get every time. So you're going to click click here to reveal the secret words. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, we're going to go ahead and click next. And then you're going to confirm your key. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so all done. I'm gonna go ahead and click confirm. And then bam, congratulations, you passed the test. Keep your seed phrase safe. It's your responsibility. So that's the thing about crypto, guys. You should have two to three backups. Have a backup on an external hard drive, paper backup. And um, the most recent that I've put mine on is the crypto steal. Link is in the description, guys, and I'll link the video above. Basically, it's a device where you put your private keys on and then you're able to lock it and never, never look at it. I mean, you really don't ever have to look at it. So basically, you put your keys on here. You have all the keys in the box here. You put them on. Once you're done, you seal it up and you're good to go. So a third backup here, very good. I haven't done mine yet, but I am going to do it soon. But to be honest with you, I have multiple wallets, so I'm going to need like 10 of those joints. Anyway, save backup phrase, blah, 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 all done. All right, so we're all done. Tips on storing it safely, I just gave to you. You don't really need to know from Brave. You're going to go ahead and click all done. Now, if you notice up here, guys, we just got an ad come in. BlockFi, earn interest on BTC, ETH, NGUSD. What you could do is you can click view, or you could just click close, and you will get your reward which is literally like two cents it's nothing but while you're browsing doing your work anyway you might as well take it typically it comes in right away okay this is the brave rewards for the last month that i've received on this front all right so clicked all done on the crypto wallet there all right and there we go so it looks like it's a my ether wallet so that's pretty cool so i already have a my ether extension or I'm sorry, a MetaMask extension. So that's pretty much what this is. So if you don't trust the extension, now you could go over to Brave and you have an Ethereum wallet directly on the Brave browser. Definitely very cool. Are they gonna be adding Tron? I really think they should because Tron is uh, making some head waves. So if you wanna go ahead and add tokens, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see one off the top of my head, yeah, IOX. IOTX, you also have IOST. You have a ton of tokens that you could add here. Um, custom tokens as well. You guys might know how to do that. You put in token address, token symbol, usually 18 is what you put here. And then you're able to add what, whichever one that you want. So definitely very cool. I like this. Probably a little more secure than the, than the Chrome extensions. Don't forget, guys, you can put any Chrome extension on Brave. You don't have to uh, worry about that. All right, so let's head over here to Brave Rewards. So basically, I would say every month from March to about June, it was really heavy on, the, you know, I was getting a lot of Brave referrals and, and whatnot. It's definitely died down a bit, but it's still a, you know, it's still a significant amount. I mean, you know, I'm, it's something. Again, this is, if you're a YouTuber or you have a large Twitter following or something like this, this is great, you know, residual income because they do pay per download and it's no cost to you so if you live in the united states of america i think the referral is seven dollars and fifty cents and then other countries it kind of goes down um in groups of which would be more popular or something like that so currently you got 174 in pending payouts from bat they pay out roughly every eighth of the month 
um, you have to have uphold set up. So basically, you're going to see right here, you're going to get all your Brave rewards over to your uphold account. Okay, so you have to link your uphold account. Once you do that, you get all these rewards here. If you you know start just putting your link out there that's really all that i'm doing and uh and doing videos every now and then to you know get the referral so it's, it's definitely a great source of extra income honestly you know i think back here it was somewhere around like two three hundred dollars a month now it's dying down to like 40 50 bucks a month but hey it's still something it's something and brave is growing brave is growing uh, last update here, November 9th, which is today, 314,000 daily active users, basically, which is, which is pretty good. I mean, there's so many browsers to choose from and people are opting to choose brave because a lot of people are into crypto. Now they want to receive rewards on ads that pop up. I think you get about five ads per hour when you're on the computer. You also got people like me that are over there, you know, shilling the link and things like that. So every day, more and more users are coming on board. 216,000 YouTube channels, 34,000 websites, 16,000 Twitch channels, Twitter handles. A lot of Twitter handles have been added recently. And as you can see, as I'm scrolling down here on Twitter, you're going to see a little tip bot here. Basically, you click that tip symbol, a banner's going to pop up, and then it's basically going to ask you if you want to tip him, um, you know, X amount of bat. Right. And then you could pretty much reward him for that awesome tweet, I guess. Right. <laughs> so as long as you're logged in on the Brave browser, you will have this. Obviously, you're not going to have it on your phone unless you have an Android, because I do believe Android allows it. But then you'd have to be on Twitter on the browser, which is kind of annoying. So I'm sure eventually they're going to integrate it into apps and whatnot. Not sure how that's going to work, how long it's going to take. But slowly but surely, I'm sure it'll get done. So Reddit, GitHub, Vimeo channels, they're adding a lot. As you can see, Brave address is here. We're at about 208,105. So this is probably the, the, the least amount in one day that have signed up. So a lot of people have opened up Brave addresses, guys. Look at this. From March 26th, you had 97,000. Now we have 200,000. Okay, and that kind of shows you in the chart here. You know, back in March, there was a huge push. Probably everybody was talking about Brave. My downloads were up super high. And that's when like this bull run, I guess you can call it, started. So if you're interested in the Brave browser, guys, help support the channel. Link is in the description. Definitely follow Brave on Twitter here. I actually don't follow them. You believe this? There you go. I'm going to go ahead and follow them. Taking a look at the price of Brave here. The basic attention token, in my opinion, has a bright future. Honestly, I mean, there's a real use case for the token by tipping content creators and things like that. People are getting rewarded in Brave's token for getting people to download the Brave browser, watching ads, things like that. So it's definitely cool. You know, people say, why not just use Bitcoin or other coins? You know, the thing is, BAT runs on the Ethereum network, which is not my preferred network because it is a little slower than networks like Tron, EOS, but... At the end of the day, it's way faster than Bitcoin. So that's the good thing about the token is that it's still pretty fast when it comes to payments. Typically what I do is when I get my when I get my bat, if you guys look, you'll see withdrew bat, received bat. I usually just withdraw it out cuz honestly, I'm not a fan of um I'm not a fan of Uphold. Typically what I'll do is I'll put it on like crypto.com. Once you put it on crypto.com, you can then sell it for US dollar and then you can go ahead and use it if you're interested. So that's the best way to get out if you're looking to sell your Brave Rewards. <clears throat> you send it from Uphold to crypto.com or to the spend card. You could do either or and then you could just go simply use your, use your card. So if you guys haven't saw my videos on crypto.com, go check it out free $50 reward for stake at 50 MCO. It's an awesome metal card and um, gets you in and out of crypto, gets you out of crypto seamlessly. You can pay your bills with it. So great use case, great use case. So that about wraps it up, guys. Don't forget to follow them on Twitter. Link to my Twitter will be in the description as well. And with that being said, like, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I'll let you, boy, peace.